So hello, I just want to show you a little extra with the uh, RK006. Um, I'll um, demonstrate it with the use of uh, the Pro One. I uh, got some cable here for TRS A to DIN5. You can just plug it directly, like now with the launch key. I can play the Pro One. Um, but it would be nice if we would have uh, like velocity scaling or something. You can influence a little bit uh, with MIDI, but not everything. But the Pro One has uh, patch points, and um, the RK006 has not only MIDI outputs, but you can also switch the output to be a gate or PWM output. And we use the PWM to generate some sort of a CV signal, so we can steer this, uh, yeah, the cutoff and uh, LFO, for example. So in order to do that, I'll just connect the MIDI to a MIDI out of the RK006, and I'll get a cable here. There, connect that to MIDI in. Um, so what we have now, actually we're playing the Pro 1 through the RK006. Normally we now have uh, 10 MIDI outputs. We could uh, connect uh, some other stuff here, but um, uh, what I want to do is change one of the outputs uh, to CV or PWM, so I can change the um, uh, LFO and cutoff. Therefore, I'll connect it to the iPad here. And I have the app here for the RK006. I'll just restart it. So now it's reading out and it's seeing every port is MIDI and um, yeah, I can't now play the Pro One anymore because uh, when the RK006 is ho is hosted by a host like the iPad or a PC, uh, then the soft through mode is off. I can force that like this, and now I can play again. And um, well, uh, I can change the uh, MIDI outputs to do something different. So I'll choose output two, set it to gate, and. I want to do something with the mod wheel here and output 3 I also set it to gate and then I'll set velocity there okay so now these things flicker a bit differently already um, I'll store this here under the uh, settings so the RK006 starts up with these settings whenever I uh, power it that's what I'm going to do. I'm powering it from the battery here. And so, well, it still does the same, but you also see still the LEDs flickering a bit differently. Um, so now I get a patch cable. And, oh, I dropped the patch cable. Uh, and now I'll plug this in, cut off, and plug this in port 2. Now I can control the uh, cutoff, filter cutoff with the uh, mod wheel. I can also plug it in like the LFO speed. Also works. Um, even though this is a PWM signal, um, which is actually a very fast on and off. Uh, a flicker of a digital signal and we have a little uh, like PWM to CV converter block here which you can put in between the patch cable so the voltage gets smoothened out a little bit I didn't hear it giving any problems uh, in this scenario but I'll put it on anyway yeah works nicely so um, and I'll connect the other uh, port as well to velocity, so now I can do 
<clears throat> both mod wheel and velocity changes from the launch key like this well it's a whole lot of a uh, whole different kind of expression going on here now with these extra signals When I uh, pull it here, you have the same filter value at every key, but when I plug it, the RK006 sets a different uh, CV signal to every note. You can get kind of secondary rhythms into an arpeggiator and stuff. Yeah, I just like it a lot. So um, yeah, you can put every uh, every port of the RK006 can be changed to a gate signal or a CV signal, and um, yeah, you can just play around with kind of a hybrid hybrid setup of uh, MIDI and uh, analog gear. So I hope this is clear. Bye.